To say it's been an interesting year in pro football would be an understatement. From the labor unrest, to the draft, to the stories of individual accomplishment, there's a lot to talk about. And so we will with Peter King, one of the most influential reporters covering the NFL for Sports Illustrated and NBC Sports, and Hall of Fame college coach from Virginia Tech, Frank Beamer, former LSU standout and top NFL rookie prospect, Patrick Peterson, and from Monday Night Football, former Philadelphia Eagle and current president of the Maxwell Football Club, Ron Jaworski. From Harris Resort, Atlantic City, inside the Steakhouse, here's your host, Lou Tilly. The neat thing about uh, the club is it's a club, and I like to call it the first fraternity of football. You know? There you go, Ron. Help it's me a, out here. It's a, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's, it's a football club, and you know, I hear from people around the country, what's the Maxwell Football Club about? And I try to think of this real complex sophisticated mission that we have you know but it's really simple it's a bunch of guys and ladies that love the game of football that love to honor those athletes and those coaches administrators that love the game as well it's just a bunch of guys ladies get together and and really you know show these guys how much we love what they're doing for the game it's that simple all right patrick now i got a question for you okay. you're a guy who's faced some of the best players, not running backs, receivers, quarterbacks, probably three of the top ten picks in this draft are going to be guys who you faced over the last few years. The two receivers, you know, Green from uh, Georgia, Jones from Alabama, mm -hmm. and obviously Cam Newton. Right. Just give me your thoughts. Give me a sentence or two on facing each one of those guys. I'm paying attention to this. <laughs> this. You guys are going to steal it. Yeah. You're going to read this somewhere. Right up, uh, all right, I'll I start off with uh, Cam Newton. I mean, he, he's just a, a beast. <laughs> you know, um, he, he definitely knows how to, to take over a game. You know, he definitely single-handedly hand, won a couple games by himself. You know, but it, it was definitely hard uh, game planning from him because we couldn't find a kid 6'6". Six, six, 245. <laughs> <laughs> right, so it, 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 was, it was tough game plan for him, but he's definitely a, a, a great all-around player. You know what, the question I would have for you on him that I found interesting when I would watch him play, sort of like, I, I think one of the best guys throwing on the run in pro football is Ben Roethlisberger. Mm -hmm. And he made a couple of plays in that playoff game, especially against the Jets. Uh, the Burt Bell Award trophy winner this year was uh, my pick. And so many people have talked about this amazing change in Michael's skill level and his fundamentals. Did do you buy into that, or did you have that all along when you had Michael back at Virginia Tech? I don't think he's ever changed as far as what is he, what he, uh, what he can do. I think Coach Reed, and uh, I think the development there certainly uh, is very good. But what Michael always was able to do, he's such a competitor. I mean, he's such a in good football sense, uh, you know, on the field he's just uh, a different guy. And then his physical skills, I mean, he's always been able to really throw the football and get it out of there quickly. And, and of course, his movement, uh, you know, keeping plays alive is just, you know, unbelievable. So those skills have always been there. But I, I think he's developed certainly as a, as a you know, big-time NFL quarterback. But uh, I think the basics there is how competitive he is and, and his skill level. He had that at Virginia. Let's talk the big issue this year. Uh, and we've had debates about this at your office over at NFL Films. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the head injuries, the, the hitting with your head, leading with your head. The old warriors will tell you, that's the way we were taught. That's, that's instinct. I don't know how you change that. I mean, have you thought about that? You're definitely right. But um, once you're in the heat of the moment, I mean, it's kind of hard. Kind of hard to, to try to place your hammer in a, in a certain position. But at the same time, I believe uh, Mr. Roger Goodell, he's trying to put a clamp on it, you know. So I guess now in practice, now we got to, the coaches got to teach us the right hat placement, you know. Are I, they I, doing that? Are the coaches actually doing that, Peter? I, I mean, think they're making an effort. I saw it at training camps this year. I saw an emphasis on that. Um, I think one of the biggest things when you look at the sport, the way it's played now, it's so fast. I mean, the sport that Patrick Peterson plays in 2011 uh, on fields throughout the NFL 
is just totally different from the sport that Chuck Bednarik played a half century ago. And I, I, I think that part of yeah, this... Yeah, Chuck will tell you it was tougher back then. <laughs> and, and I'm sure it was. And don't question him tonight if he does. Right. <laughs> and I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was. Well, especially because he's playing 150 snaps a game. Yeah. And, and, I'll, and I'll tell you this, Lou. I had the opportunity last October to go to see this brain bank. Patrick, is there someone if, if you watched, you know, through your youth that, boy, I like the way that guy plays, somebody mm -hmm. you've kind of framed your game after? Uh, I mean, I always wanted to, to pattern my game at the Dion, but at the, uh, as I got older... That's not a bad choice. <laughs> right, not a bad choice at all, but as I got older, I, got, I started getting bigger than uh, most corners, so I started patterning my game after Charles Woodson, mm -hmm. you know, because so, he can play the safety position, he can play so many different positions on, on the defensive side of the ball, and that's, that's kind of what I want to do at the next mm -hmm. level as well, to show my, my, my versatility and, and show that I can learn the defensive scheme and play the different positions. Do you positions. like to blitz as well? Oh, yeah, I love to do See, it. See, that's right. And corners this big now. Isn't it amazing? I mean, and Charles Woodson, obviously, well, plays corner, plays safety, comes off the corner. I mean, a quarterback's nightmare. Right. I'll tell you this.